Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. I have another huge thrift haul for you today. I am currently in my son's room, my youngest son. He has moved out. So I'm gonna, I have all my thrift stuff in here. So I'm probably gonna be moving you around in the room rather than me trying to pile everything in one area. But you're gonna wanna make sure if you're not subscribed to my channel, to subscribe now and stay tuned because we are gonna be redoing this room and to, it's still gonna be my son's room, but he lives in town. So when we have company, it's not likely that he's gonna come over here and stay. So we're gonna, this is sort of gonna be the guest room. So anyway, this is where I'm also gonna be keeping all of my thrift stash for my booth. We're getting ready for Spring Fest in the Denham Springs Antique District, and it's the end of April. So I have been doing a lot of thrifting, just trying to make sure I have enough to get ready for that event. So I also am gonna show you a handy dandy little tool that um, a company sent to me, and I'm gonna show it to you in just a bit, but it helps me with pricing things for our booth or my booth in our store. So for now, let me go ahead and just kind of show you, this is kind of an overview of everything that's in this room right now. Some of the things that you see, I've already showed you in my previous thrift haul, but the things, some of, there are some of the things in here that are new that I just thrifted. So I wanna show you those things. So let's go ahead and let me get started because there's a lot. Okay, I have done garage sales, thrift stores, people in my neighborhood just give stuff away. So I have some things from that. And I don't think that anything in here is from estate sales, but it's mainly garage sales and thrift stores. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you some of the things that I found. There are some things that I thrifted that I am probably gonna take to my booth before I do the video of my thrift haul. So I wanna go ahead and show you a few of the items. So first of all, I found this really beautiful plate and it is, I don't know if you can read that, royal something. And I just think that is beautiful and it's perfect for spring, which is why I wanna go ahead and get it in my booth before the weekend. Then I found this at Goodwill. I think this, you know how I feel about these um, water pitcher and basin sets? And I found this at Goodwill. And I just think it is beautiful. I think the vase is just beautiful. The lines on it, the pink flowers. So that is going to be perfect for spring. Then I found this little wall piece. You can hang it. It's already got the jute on it. And it just says, live simply, bloom uh, wildly and that's perfect for spring. Then I found this really pretty tray, and I'm not gonna do anything to it because it has the hydrangea on it. I just think it's so, so pretty, and I think that will be great for spring. I found this really cute, I don't know what this is. You can put cotton in it if you wanna keep it in your bathroom or if you just wanna decorate it with, decorate with it. Um, you know, on a foyer table or in your kitchen, I don't know, wherever you want. I just think that's pretty. Then I found this cloche. I have been looking for just a cloche because I was thinking if I find a cloche that I like and a really pretty plate, I can use this on the plate to decorate for whatever season the plate is. Now, I did find this plate which is so pretty and the cloche fits perfectly on it. But isn't that so pretty? Wouldn't that be great in a kitchen to style with for spring? 
The problem is, now I kind of want to keep it for myself, but I know I shouldn't. So let me know in the comments, should I sell the plate separately and just keep the cloche for something else? Or should I sell it together as a set? I think that is so pretty. But then the last two things that I'm probably going to take, because you know I have my tea that I have for sale in my booth, and I have a lot of different cup and saucer sets, and I found these. I just think these are so pretty with the pink flowers and the gold trim, and then the saucers that match. So I got those from Salvation Army. And I just thought those were so, so pretty. So those are some of the things that I got that I thrifted. And I'm going to go ahead and take them to my booth. This is probably, no, not even probably. This is my favorite thing that I've thrifted in the last week. I walked into a St. Vincent de Paul. And I didn't even t take the time to take out my phone to record it, to show it to you on the shelves because I wanted to snatch it up and get it in my buggy. Now, the way they had it set up was instead of having everything individually priced, they had them in groups of, there were four groups. So they had one group that had, you know, 13 pieces in it or whatever, and it was $20. They had another group that was like $7, another group that was $10, and another group that was $25. I had to control myself, and I only, at the time, got two of the sets. But when I got home and showed my husband, he was like, why didn't you get them all? So I went back today. Now, mind you, that was on Thursday. It's Monday. I went back today and I told myself, it's probably not going to be there. Just go ahead and plan on it not being there. And there was one set of 13 items for $25. And so I went ahead and got it as well. Now, I have it all set. I probably need to go through it some more and just be better. But this half is all stuff that I want to keep. Now, if I just took this picture without giving you any, like, size reference, you would think this is, like, big stuff. And some of the things are good size, like this vase right here. You know, that's a decent size. Now, if you were to just see this sitting by itself, you would think it's big, but it's actually really small. So a lot of these things are pretty small. This vase is a pretty good size. The, but these are so adorable. They're small, but they are just too cute for words. I just can't. This is so cute. So anyway, I am keeping, as of right now, I'm keeping all of this because, as you know, my house is done in blue, a lot of blue and blue and white. And then this is stuff that I'm going to price and put in my booth. These are still some great items. I just am trying to be good. Like, I've got three teapots. These And these little vases are really small vases but they're perfect little bud vases these little trinket boxes are super cute um here's a little teeny tiny teapot so and there's a cream and sugar but anyway this is my favorite find for sure this is something i found which i love this is a little sneak peek into the re uh, decorating of my son's room. I got this um, at a thrift store. just think it's so cute. I actually got this from Restore and I have learned thrifting. If you see something, 
don't put it down to think about it. Just grab it, put it in your cart, grab it, and then think about it. Because this is something that someone else was looking at. And when I was at the register, she came up behind me. There was no price tag on it. And she said, oh man, I picked that up and there was no price on it. So if you see something, pick it up and then think about it. That's gonna stay here. That's not gonna be in my booth. This set of candlesticks, it was a set of three. Um, they are really pretty. I'm not sure yet if I want to put these in my booth or keep them, because I actually have been looking for some brass. And then I also found these two cute little brass sticks. I may actually keep these two and put the other three in my booth. I thrifted this. I thought this would be, this is chicken wire. So I figured I could do some cute little springy saying in here and then just sell it. So I um, thought that was cute. All right, the next thing is this basket. Probably gonna keep this. I have a lot of things so far that I'm keeping, huh? But I am gonna keep this because again, a little sneak peek. I also thrifted this little brass candlestick. I thrifted this lantern. I just love these basins. This is a little mini one, and it's a really pretty blue color, and it has gold on it. So this would be really great in my booth to stage with some brass candlesticks. So that's why I'm thinking of uh, keeping the brass. But anyway, I just thought this was really pretty. I got this really cute hand towel. That's gonna be great for my booth. And this adorable teapot. It's got the honeycomb pattern on the bottom and there's a little bumblebee on the top. I just thought that was so super cute. Great for spring and summer. Found these two picture frames. So I'm gonna probably stage these together in my booth and sell these. Anyway, that's really popular now to like stack frames. So I was excited to find that. More teacup sets, teacup and saucers. I've got this one. I just think this is really pretty. It has a really pretty gold uh, wheat pattern on it. Then I found this one. This is kind of a milk glassy, um material i don't know and then it has gold trim on it so i thought that was really pretty these two things i thrifted i just think they are just adorable aren't these little kids so super cute so that was something that i'm gonna put in my booth when you're at goodwill check the carts first i went and checked the cart and they had this like tub, this plastic tub, and had a price on it for $5. Well, I know they're not selling a tub for $5. I don't know, maybe they are. But it had a bunch of stuff in it. So I just asked, I said, hey, is this the $5 for everything in here? They checked and said it was mispriced, but they were gonna honor it since it was kind of their mistake. But it had seven really cute prints and they're all different. So this is gonna be great to put in my booth for Spring Fest. Was excited about that. And another thing that came in that box was this. Look, I live by this motto. If at first you don't succeed, try doing it the way your mom told you in the beginning. I mean, it's not bad advice. Here's another thing I got. This cute yellow basket. This is gonna be cute for spring. This would be great to use as decor on your kitchen table for spring or summer, or just to use like on your front porch or in a patio, gardening, whatever. I just thought this was really cute and unique. This is a kind of a unique basket. Okay, so now I'm gonna move you to another area so that I can show you some of the items that are over in this area. Some of the things that I'm fixing to show you are things I'm gonna be doing another 
craft DIY video. So again, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss it. But the first thing is this bread box. I'm gonna redo this. It's in really good shape. I'm gonna redo it and you could keep it as a, as a uh, bread box, but I also think this would be really cute in a coffee bar. You could put your, um, your syrups up here and then maybe in here you could put your coffee pods or sugar or whatever in here and keep it all neat. So I just think this is really cute. This has multiple purposes, not just for bread. So this is gonna be in a DIY video. This adorable cradle for baby dolls. This is so cute and it is in great condition. I'm going to DIY this as well. And it is gonna be the vision I have for it. It's gonna be so cute. And look, if you ever see anything that I show you that I've thrifted and you are interested in purchasing it, as long as you're willing to pay shipping, I will ship it to you. And um, you just send me a message and we can go from there. But anyway, this is something probably be hard to ship, but this is gonna be in my booth, hopefully pretty soon, hopefully for the Spring Fest, but I just think that's adorable. Got it from a garage sale. I, this is gonna be great to paint, put a transfer here, um, maybe put one on top, not sure. Uh, but anyway, it has a drawer here, and this is in, perfect shape. Then it has this space in here. I'm not exactly sure what this box would have been used for to begin with, but it is really pretty. It's a very sturdy piece and it's in good condition. So I'm gonna redo that in a video. This is so pretty. This brass kind of kindling wood holder with this really pretty handle. Isn't that so pretty? So this is something that's gonna go in my booth. This is something I thrifted, and this is gonna be staying in the room. Uh, I'm gonna DIY this, but my son, for whatever reason, didn't want a lamp by his bed. So now that he's not in here, I'm gonna put a lamp. Speaking of lamps, I also got this lamp from a garage sale. This is a really pretty lamp. It has kind of like that mercury glass kind of finish. So this is really pretty. I thought this pillow was just adorable. Very Americana. This is something that I thrifted, just very unique. I looked it up and it's actually a wine bottle holder, um, but this would be a beautiful vase. I thrifted this container. I mainly thrifted it because of the knob. I think that knob is so pretty. So I'm gonna paint this, either do a transfer or maybe a mold on it, paint the lid. So this is another DIY project. I thrifted this little container, this vase. And again, it kind of has a mercury glass feel to it. So, and it also has like chicken wire around it. I just thought that was really pretty and unique. And remember to stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how I price my items using the label maker that the company sent me. Um, this is such a cute watering can that I thrifted. Got a wooden handle, really, really cute. I'm not doing anything to this. I like the, the finish that it has. Um, I cleaned it up and this is gonna go in my booth. Do I wanna leave this like it is? It has a lock on it, but I don't have a key. Um, if you open it, it's a beautiful cedar. I love the smell of cedar and it smells so good. It has a stamp on it. It was made by Lane Furniture, I guess, but it says Metairie, Louisiana. So I'm not sure if I wanna paint this or just try to sell it like this. 
Let me know in the comments, what would you do? These wooden candlesticks, I'm probably gonna leave these like it is. Found this adorable little vase. Isn't that pretty? It's like a porcelain almost. Um, I don't see any kind of stamp on the bottom of it, but it's really, really pretty and so dainty. This is an adorable little porcelain, ceramic, I don't know, um, basket, and it has pretty little flowers on the inside. I just thought this was really pretty. It would be great for spring. I got this porcelain little vase, and I didn't notice it until after I purchased it, so I may just cut the price that I would have sold it for because it's not really noticeable per se. I guess maybe it is. And just sell it for like half of what I was gonna sell it for. But it does have a little missing petal right here. But I just thought it was so pretty all the way around. It's just so pretty. So more brass. I got this really pretty candlestick. It needs to be polished for sure. Got this, it's a little different than the regular blue and white, but I thought this was really pretty. And honestly, the girl I work for, I ran into her at Goodwill and she had this, but she knows I love blue and whites. So she was like, here, you take it. So I may just give it to her um, because I have all that other blue and white and just let her have this. I found these adorable little owl salt and pepper shakers. They're in great condition. They have the plug in the bottom. So I thought those were cute. I may hold on to these until fall. I found this, which is really pretty. It's a brass candle holder in a Christmas tree. It's got a candle holder up top too. So this will go in my booth. I'm gonna clean it up and it will go in my booth for Christmas. Then I found this little plate. I just thought it was just really pretty. It's just a red and white plate. It says on the bottom, um, Mason, I can't read it. I don't have my glasses on, but anyway, it has a really pretty um, crackle to it. So, thought that was pretty. That would be great for Christmas too. This is the label maker that I was telling you about. And it is super handy. So, it fits perfectly in a small bag. Like if you have a bag that you take with you to, you know, if you have a job where you organize or if you have a booth like I do, you can take it with you. So it is small and compact. It also, you can um, upload the app onto your iPhone or an iPad and you can work from there. So you'll see here, it says new label. It's very easy. It walks you through what you need to do. So you can make a new label and I'm just going to, I have a system for how I do my labels. So I'm just gonna make a random label just so you can see how easy it is. But um, you have several different things you can do. You have uh, where you can put text or photos, or if you wanna do sticker, you know, barcodes, like here's the barcode. You can make a barcode here and let's just put a name, a random name. Okay. And then choose your font size. All right, now let's do a barcode. Now you're gonna do your system. So let's just say MM for merely Melissa, one, 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 one. Okay. And then it creates your barcode. You can make, move it, make it bigger. If I can get my finger on it, make it bigger. And then when you're done with it, you just press print. Print. And it prints it out for you. So if you wanna put a price, a price on here or description of whatever the item is, that's where you type it. It is limitless what you can do with this thing. 
You can put your own photos. If you want to upload a photo, you can do that. You can make little bubbles. Let's see if I can get you closer. Make little bubbles, and there's a bunch of bubbles there. You can make stickers. Here's some icons. You can make animals if you want to do some kitchen organizing. It's got kitchen uh, pictures, clothing if you want to organize in your closet. So really, I mean, it's it's limitless. So this is an awesome uh, label maker. Make sure you check out that link that I'm going to have for you in the description box so that you can go get you one. These are great to have on hand. I told y'all it was a lot. That is everything that I've gotten in the, probably the last two weeks. I've really done a lot of thrifting. But anyway, I hope you found something that you like. You'll have to let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was that I showed you today. And also make sure that you check out the product link for the label maker that I used. If you do any kind of selling, it would be great. Even if you don't use barcodes, it would be great to use, you know, for your pricing. Also, if you love organizing, those are great for, you know, making labels for organizing. So you really need to check that product out because it's a great product. I could not live now without my barcode maker. So I hope you enjoy that as well. Make sure that if you're not subscribed to my channel that you do click that bell button when you subscribe so that you're notified every time I upload a new video because I don't want you to miss me doing redoing this bedroom. I can't wait for you to see it also my craft projects and if you would like to see more thrifting videos then check out the box you see on the screen right now and i'll see you next time bye